you were now in the presence of faith. There are many people who disagree with, with his view of that. That's because people, they can choose which parts of the Bible they like. They can choose which parts are suitable to them. So it's all which they can choose. And fresh meat has picked and chosen what, what works for him. And if we are to discuss what works for him, we won't get to the basic foundation. That's fire, heavenly fire. knowledge. It's, 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 it's all right. It's all right. Mr. Wu, take your words away. I will tell you that. If your kid if your kid do bad, you fall, you fall kill him. That's what the Bible says. You will no, do that. No, the Bible, the Bible says, Father, 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 Fresh, I beg. Hold on, hold on. In, in chapter 6 of, of one of Harry Potter's books, Mr. the description Mr. of Hogwarts is there. Doesn't make Hogwarts well. You make you not plenty. You say you don't no, the fact that we, we no, can talk about the Bible. Seen you. Yes, why you don't believe? Why You said you don't believe in God. So how can no, you, you don't mean to Bible? believe in the Bible no, for, no, no, for you no, to no, talk no, about Just it. give me a simple answer. Because I know the occult, occult people, they read the Bible. So I know it. So that's what I'm asking you. What happened? You are also doing that. That's why we put in the cards as much. Now, let me put oh, I didn't put the Bible. Now, hold on. I was hold on, trying to tell you that. It's all right. What can I say with you? The man can come myself. Now, like, guys, are, are, you, are you really listening to what he's saying? Mr. Will, mute yourself. You make a finish. No, let me tell you. Mr. What Will, you are doing, yourself, what you are doing talk, here talk. is not relevant. You just need to deal with the argument. That's having a zest. <laughs> <Let's... laughs> it does. I've given you so many quotations. I've read the quotations. You I mean, like, no. Bro, I, can also, I can like also give you so many bro, quotations. Are you you now you come. Bro. Um, Fresh, there are many books. Mr. Will, there are many books. There are movies. You've done it. Allow, 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 Whatever you they talk, everything you they talk. Although the beginning, you make could not say whatever you they talk, they come from the. Alright, you know what? Make a beg. You two apostle they come. This is a proper apostle. Make apostle come talk. Fire! Fire! I will read my quotation. Give Papi then. Will I beg you make a read out? Papi, I beg you. I mean, Papi, you can invite Fire later. Papi, Papi, listen. Papi, listen. Papi, listen. Papi, hey, Papi, listen, 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 listen. The guy where he, he can't speak, no. I really do respect him. I beg you. Don't try violate him. I beg you. Mute your body. Make it talk finish. Don't even take your thing coming up. I beg you. Pa. Fire. I'll tell you something. If, if you want, no, this you is my serious brother. I'll tell you. I'll tell you serious thing. The guy where I'll bring him, make it come talk. No. Don't try violate him. I'll tell you. You nah, YouTube friend, apostle. This, can you remove this fire? YouTube apostle. I beg Papi, you talk. Papi, eh? Papi, 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 Papi. Yes, sir. Why? He said make the person. YouTube, YouTube apostle. I beg you talk. Eh? Charlie, bro, bro, bro. One mic. I beg you. 
Oh, you Charlie. You be God. No, oh, Papi, Papi, yeah. nobody is coming to warn you, please. So, um, thank you for the opportunity. Um, fire. You too, think, Apostle. Um, My God. Um, when, when um French Beat was making his point, um, I think he shouldn't have been um, that hard on Papi. It, it wasn't necessary. Right. If you represent the truth of God, you are supposed to have that um character also portrayed even in your that's argument. What I'm so saying it wasn't not real. That's what I'm saying it's not the one. <laughs> Charlie. It's, it's not the one. Okay, okay, you we are right, cool. You are about to have a continue. So, okay, so um I wrote a few things that I, I, I thought I sh I could share with us. Um, Thank you. When he, he, he was talking about suicide, mm -hmm. um whether it was okay for a person to commit suicide. Um the reason why you can't commit suicide, according to the Christian worldview, is that you don't own yourself. Your body is not for you. Right. According to first, when you read First Corinthians chapter seven, fire, nine, fire, me fire, fire, fire at the left, fire, fire me at the left. All right, bless up, bless up, bless up. Doesn't belong to me. They, they belong to who? If my body doesn't belong to me, they belong to who? We nonsense this. My papi, okay, the so, uh, say, according to the Christian belief. So why if you not be Christian now? Then they do not take him. See, according to the Christian belief, that's where to talk. Hmm. Yeah, but is the Christian. It go, it go, it go. Papi go, so we continue. Papi go, we continue. Papi, papi means that when people talk about their beliefs, okay, let's get this straight. Beliefs are opinions and they are personal, but are we talking about reality? So, is there really a God that said that your body is not for you? Well, okay, so okay, so okay, so okay, so also what the guy okay, so if is, if you want to talk okay, if you want to view and believe the words they speak from, you don't necessarily have to believe it. He's just stating facts based on what he knows. Facts. That's all. Thank you. Okay, so um, beliefs. If if that's the case, then we should keep our beliefs to ourselves. Yo, if you really wonder, if you if put you really your belief in a public line, right? Like people would question God, it. Bro, it's not gonna happen. If you really want God to be in the skies to be believe in God, it's not gonna happen. You, you you really trying to mess mess up with with with, with spirituality and, and physicality? Let a man talk, bro. Okay, so um, moving forward, thank you very much. Um, why there's okay, so why I believe there's heaven and hell? I'm going to give three points or three reasons why you can tell that there's heaven and hell. Now, the first point is from the Lord Jesus Christ. Now. If somebody wants to um, debate that Jesus cannot be trusted, you have to down go into the historicity of Jesus Christ. Did Jesus actually live? Now, if so, let's start with this point. If Jesus actually lived, and it is proven that um, what the Bible wrote about him and said about him is true, then it means that the issue of heaven and hell. It's something that everybody should think about. And when you come to Jesus Christ, he said it in many places about heaven and hell. Now, there are many people that have um, searched about Jesus Christ and written about Jesus Christ. So far, the only um, source that has said that Jesus didn't die is Islam. Right. It should actually know about whether he lived. And so, even people who are against Christianity, the worst um, critic of Christianity do not debate, if you go into the stories of Jesus Christ, do not debate whether Jesus lived or not. So, the fact that Jesus lived is already established in history. Then, when Jesus was alive, he said a lot of things. One of the areas he spoke on was heaven and hell. And in his submission on hell, he spoke, I'm going to give a few verses, then we'll, we'll just skip and we'll know why we can trust Jesus Christ. Matthew 10, 28, the Lord Jesus Christ said, Fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So over here, what you see is that there is first the death of the body, then also there is the death of the soul. Now this...
and I think we lost him. Right. But then still on what the point he raised, though, I think it's important. So, yes, he's right. The man, the, the man Jesus Christ, probably did walk on this earth. Most people won't deny that. Even I, as a non-believer, won't deny that. But as to whether this person was born of a virgin or a Jewish woman who lied after having sex with someone else, that is, that, that, that is not fact. As to whether the person called Jesus Christ walked this earth, it, it, probably a deluded Jewish person walked around like that. But as to whether this person was the son of the creator of the universe, that is, that is actually lies. As to whether this person had so much knowledge, and even with the account of Jesus according to the Bible, from the age of 18 to 30, um, is it 18? No, 12 to 30, Jesus Christ vanished. Like, literally vanished. After talking to the um, old man going around as a 12-year-old and preaching to people, he vanishes and shows up at 30 years and suddenly starts grabbing 12 men to follow him. Like, what the hell? Um, this, this, this is a serious, important point in the lives of people. <laughs> and if people who, who, who people vanish within this period in time, most of their life going unaccounted for, we can't really um, make claims as to whether or not they exist. So even the Bible, if we should take it to be true, has still a very important segment of life missing. So we can't even hold that accountable. And let alone the bet, which was under very, very strange circumstances, people claiming they are following a star and so many things that are going on and on. That That is not proof also that heaven and hell does exist. So, I mean, if he should come back, the He's fact back. that a man called Jesus will be it doesn't make heaven real. He's back. He's back. Okay. Sorry, I think along the line, my line went down, dropped. Right. No problem. Please, can you hear me? We can hear you, boss. Okay, so um, let me continue from where I think I could hear everybody, but then I was my line dropped. I don't know what had actually happened. So um, I think Mr. Willis, Mr. Wills was talking about um, the fact of Jesus not being um, some of the as some aspects of his life could not be proven. Also, now that's a debate for another day. But then the fact that the historicity of Jesus is established. And then the fact that he spoke about hell, and then he said he's going to um, die, resurrect, and then it is also um, em embossed or certified in history, which is, that is not just about Christian historians, but then even the secular um, historians of the day, like Josephus, and many others wrote about it, and it was not something that was done at, in a corner, then if he speaks about hell, he is an authority that should be believed, or I should say could be believed. Mm. That That is it. And so if, and I'm starting with if, if it is so, then it is something everybody should be thinking about. Now, my second point is real life experiences. Um, when the gentleman who said he had an issue at college, when uh, the children were very small, I wanted to know what happened to him when he had that coma experience. I think you should have spoken because um, if you have worked around hospitals and you have seen how people die, some of them points to the fact that life actually doesn't end here. Because when you look at how people transition from the earth, you see if you should, if there is a doctor here, we could ask the doctor and find out. Most doctors have seen many people die than the ordinary person. Ask, let's ask them. And I think this could, could be a, a homework for all of us. If you meet a doctor, ask them, how do people die? Now, the general way people die, you see some people die and crying and screaming like they are coming for me they are coming for me and some become very terrified because um, it is not like just sleeping because if we were just sleeping you wouldn't be terrified just ask somebody uh, or stand by somebody who is dying and see especially if those people have not lived a life that um, assures them of salvation most of them live terrified. And then if that is just the tip of the iceberg, then it is something people should think about. So watch it. Make this your homework. Go ask a medical doctor and find out how people die. That YouTube Apostle. YouTube Apostle. Yes, sir. 
You yes. sure say it no go be some medical like some science thing when it comes to this whole crying thing? Cause I know say when people yeah. die they feel shit and things. Yes, most of them it's not. If you ask the doctor, for example, the Gofi talk to you say, um, it's, it's not everybody who dies in pain, and it's not everybody who dies like being afflicted. But the moment death dawns on a person, people begin to realize it, and and normally they will tell me like hallucination, like they are hallucinating. But the person is saying, some people are coming for me, some people want to take me. I am going, I am going, I am going, and that's why if you check people who die. Most people, just with a few minutes before they go, they are able to cough for people and do some things before they go. It is because you can sense it. And sometimes they see things that are coming for them. And it might YouTube Apostle, are you basing, are you basing your facts of movies, Nigerian movies? No, I'm not talking about Nigerian movies. I'm going to give you the reference. You see, when um, Jesus spoke about the rich man and Lazarus, mm -hmm. he said... When the rich man died, he was he went to hell. But when the poor man died, angels came and carried him to heaven. And so it looks like what happens in reality when people die, when it is about to happen, you could see lining up with what Jesus said, angels or demons coming for the person. And this is something that if you are have not you know people say go to the mortuary and see how people die and then it will dawn on you life you go you go see see like Charlie life is not all the living and the enjoyment now the best part is when somebody is leaving the earth most people have not seen that they've not seen somebody dying just sample 10 people dying and just take a watch it will tell you that there is a realm beyond this natural which that if a person is not exiting well, you can see it from their demeanor and the way they go. Then, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube pastor, um, I don't think it's relevant to bring up stuff like this. I have personally, is this is a personal, but I have personally seen three people die. And okay. it doesn't really, it's, it's not good for us to shame the process people die. It's, 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 not, it's not good, okay? Because certain I people die in conditions that are not nice. And it's okay, okay? Death, the process of dying may be difficult, may be easier for some people, just like childbirth, okay? However, death itself will not be felt by the person that it's happening to. People do not die and come back and tell us about the process it took them to die. No, when they die, they are dead and they stay dead for a reason. Now, in the olden days, um, you can look this up as well, rigor erectors. Those days when they used to hang people, even after people die, they still have erections and ejaculates and stuff like that. Does that mean that they are in a happy place? No, we can't make such logical conclusions. So the process of death is still irrelevant as to whether or not heaven exists, heaven or hell exists. That's the topic we are discussing here today. And Fire Sticks wants to know as to heaven and hell, a day or a no day. I think you have a good point with that. Yeah, and Fire. Yeah. You do apostle. So no, so now apostle they talk something in reference to what now are they talk, not are they mm -hmm. Yeah. See, fire, my my little reservation we my friends we are going to you for the children's world there some years, some twenty years ago. Mm -hmm. If you we do I don't really want to talk say heaven no day or heaven day or something like that. Say of a sentence. Yeah, if you need make the belief say, Charlie, something day, maybe if you are outside me, maybe then you try to waste things. Because if you remember 20, 15, 20 years ago, the children's world, now me, I did a pop. You go do some, the elevator, and some man, they sit inside. If you go, oh, 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 the elevator and things. Then confirm not you too. Yeah, me, I know, I know, I know about the Kolimua. So, why I not did the top? I did the window. My, my bed did the window. Why? Before God and man. The things we will receive for TV as angels. Then, um, Hail Mary, like, where Jesus did, and that brought me. It flashed, it flashed for my eye. So, you see, for the video you posted, now the guy that talks all the things you do for the as I say so, now it be flash for your eye, fast, 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 fast. I mean, whether 
to compile Gamomi, Momi, they have to tell us of how the Bible is, and some of the things that we go to like the But consistently, as he say, somebody in a white garment, he did like a pete, a pete window, a pete glass, mm. like the person did. The part where if you watch, you you see down. If you watch through that window, you see down, down. And you see, see somebody did. They, they, that is the only thing that did my eye. I don't know whether anybody there around me or not. I don't, I don't see anything. I saw that thing throughout. So basically, I'm not going to go there. Yeah, I mean, I know, uh, uh, then they protect me or something. I don't know. So I eventually come back after four months. Four months? You are. So, you, yeah, so that within the four months there, you don't go anywhere. You just did there. Where did they watch you, sir? I just did there. So the, I just did there. They say they come out all my blood and put new blood for my inside. My uncle be come at test say being with and taking blood. Right now he's have did there. He did there. He come it at test say yeah. He did there. He did blood. He did there. I mean, I see until my classmates, people like them take away from school come. See, uh, so I asked my, one of my, my friends, say, Charlie, uh, where are you people? You, you, which class are you guys now? I say, Prince, we are in class six now. Say, hey, that's when I believe what they, they tell me. Because all this one, I, I think, say, then they then just they try. But four months, hold on, but four months, it would just be one term, one term and vacation with that. No, one term, I mean, I've been about two months, if you go for the second term, it was like 10 10. Only I'm a Kenyan kid. I promote you. I'm a Nina kid. I'm a take class six. I'm a Nina kid. No. No, I'm happy. I'm very happy. We're class five. Yeah, class five. Yeah, class five. I mean, yeah, in a type of experimenter. In your Kwabenya, Kwabenya, Emmanuel, Regiman, Roger, in the one year. Interesting. Anyway, which two apostles is back? Which two apostles? I bet continue. Yeah. So I just want to. I just want to catch you. Sorry. In the, my network is not is not working properly today at all. So um, I think I thank you, sir, for um, that feeding us in with the hospital experience. Then, so if Jesus is somebody to go by, like I said, then and with the effect of Jesus Christ in history, nobody should take him for granted. That's one. Then number two, with such experiences, you cannot just rubbish the existence of heaven and hell because normally God will give men um, an evidence in, in real life. It's recorded in Romans chapter 1. It says he has he uses the physical things, the things that we can see and relate with to tell us of the things we are not able to know. In Romans chapter 1 verse 19 it says because that which may be known of God is manifest in them for God has showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that, that are made. So sometimes the physical things we see are things that help us know about the things we cannot see. That's why I was saying that when people are dying, when people are dying, the experiences they have, and people who have um, happened to have coma and other experiences, they can tell us things that will let us sit up. You cannot just take these things for granted like that. Then, hello, please, am I on? Yeah, you're still on. Then, get, so, that, that that should be something that should let you set up and not take things for granted because the unfortunate thing is that when you leave the earth, that's all, there's no turning back. And so, look at the evidence of Jesus, look at the evidence of people who have died. And then, you can go on YouTube and search people who have had near-death experiences or died clinically and have been resuscitated and see their testimonies. These are things that will show you that you can't play with the, the knowledge of heaven and hell. Even if you think you can debate it better, the reality will dawn on you, but it may be too late. Then the third evidence for heaven and hell, which this one is very, very subjective. If you can't take what Jesus said, you can't take what the Bible said. You can't take the experience of people who have had those experiences. Me talking, I've had that experience. And I'm going to mention two of them. I can't forget because when these things happen to you, see, no matter how confident you are, no matter how strong you are, it will get to you. What, near-death experience? Yes. 
But mm. no yeah. death experience, right? Because there's a difference so between near yeah, death and death. I'm trying to tell you what happened. So you you they say you, you will be able to define it and put it where 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 you think. So this one happened. I was traveling from um, Kumasi to Tamale. I had gone for a meeting, a Christian meeting. I, I went for a train. I was in a U-turn bus. We were almost in Tamale when I, I came back to myself. But this is what happened. So in the bus, all of a sudden, I saw that this is no Nigerian movie. I saw that I was in the middle of the bus. This is a moving bus. I was supposed to be sleeping. But then I was in the middle of the bus. When I then I when when I came to myself, I realized that I was seeing everybody in the bus and my body was at where my seat is, which was like last but one from the back. Then I was like, what is this? Now, it was so real as if please am I still on? You're still on, we're listening. It, it was so real, like, I could see my body lie as if asleep. Then my spirit, which I believe according to scripture, was in the middle of the bar. I could see everybody. I could see my Including body. Including yourself. Then, yes, yes. The body was in the chair, in the in the seat. But the spirit is out of the seat, standing and looking into the bar. Seeing, seeing and seeing, seeing everyone in the bar. Yes, yes. yes. Ah, right, YouTube yeah. Apostle, let me ask you this question. Okay. Someone actually tweeted this. Um, they said, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. So, okay. where did God live if he created heaven and earth in the beginning? Where w- okay, so, anybody who asks that question is it's biblical language. They, they, they don't really understand the biblical language here. So, when the Bible says God created heaven and earth, the heaven there is not heaven where God is. It's talking about the skies. Right. So when you study the Bible, you will see that the Bible talks about three heavens. It talks about um, the first heaven where you see the firmament. Then it talks about where the stars. Then it now goes further. The third heaven is where God is. But when he says God created the heaven and the earth, he's talking about the sky. So basically, we as human beings... And the planet, yes. yes. We as human beings will be going to the third heaven, yeah? Yes, you go to where God is. Where God is, in right, the Bible. Cool. Yes, yes. You can come from how do you know this? Because there are many interpretations to that same verse. So how do you know your interpretation is the right one? Okay, so that's... The, you are now coming to do relativism. But when you come to a Christian worldview, we have essential doctrines. We have doctrines that you must... Of necessity, understand, know, and accept. If not, you are, you don't belong to the Christian. How you are not a Christian. They are essential doctrines. They are things that are, they are there's like there are no two ways about them. They are clearly stated in Scripture. And so, for example, the concept of heaven is clearly stated. When you talk about dying, going to heaven, is clearly stated. Apostle Paul said. To be out of the body is to be present with the Lord. So the moment you come out of your body, you are going to be with the Lord if you are saved. If you you are not saved, you are going straight to hell. Like um, the um, I forgot the the, the the first speaker said. Fresh the moment you leave your body, yeah, you are going to be with the Lord. Uh, for, uh, you two pastor, you talk about not the hear what you go for. You like your network? Why you do, you pull the hear me? We hear you. Make it. It's still the talk. It's still the talk. Make it finish. Okay, okay. Because I don't hear nothing for him. Uh, hold on, I can't. I'll go remove you and bring you back again so you can hear him. So, second okay, thing okay. that I think it is, we are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. So, for anybody who is saved, for anybody who is born again, the Christian worldview is that the moment you come out of your body, you are present with the Lord, and the Lord is in heaven according to Acts. So, you are going to be with him that moment. This is not debatable. It is not something that um, you, 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 you debate. It's, it's a given in scripture. And so, right. that's what makes Christians. Right. You two apostles. You two apostles. Apostle, one question before we go on. All right, cool. Okay. Ask him. Go on. Apostle, I beg you. So, when you say it's, it's a doctrine that is inscribed in there, I mean, let me ask you from like 
a very a very very humble place okay um okay. the bible as we know now has gone through a lot of translations okay. revisions and edits textual criticisms different editions have come up there's been more than translations we all know the history where the bible went um if you say something is a doctrine that is there that you're supposed to accept um, we are all Christians. Are uh, things that are even written in there because it passed through the hands of human beings not questionable? Are we not supposed to try and, and find out whether it's actually the truth or what? Because nobody really meets God in this whole Bible thing. Oh. We would read that they talk about. These are stories, these are accounts that have been given of people who have had experiences with God in the past and they have written it, okay? Okay. And so when you say these are doctrines that are there that are not supposed to be, I think the issue I have is with the word debatable you stated in there. Why is it not debatable? Why can't we? Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Reverend Esket. So um, in, the, in, your, in your question, you started with, uh, we know where the Bible has been, the um, translations and all that. Translations do not affect um, the Bible. The Bible with autographs and the manuscripts available, you can go back right now and search out anything, anything that is said. So a translation does not affect the meaning of anything. So you can have a key translation that is limited with vocabulary and may not be able to explain a lot of things. For example, if you say baptism in Christianity, uh, in three, it will be a subo. But baptism in Christianity in the Greek baptism is more than water baptism. There is Holy Spirit baptism. There is a lot that the tree version will not be able to cover. But then, that tree limitations have come up. There's been more than translations. We all know the history where the Bible went. Um, if you say something is a doctrine that is there that you're supposed to accept, um, we're all Christians. Are uh, things that are even written in there because it passed through the hands of human beings not questionable? Are we not supposed to try and, and find out whether it's actually the truth or what? Because nobody really meets God in this whole Bible thing. Oh. Okay. We would be read and they talk about it. These are stories, these are accounts that have been given of people who have had experiences with God in the past and they have written it, okay? Okay. And so when you say these are doctrines that are there that are not supposed to be, I think the issue I have is with the words debatable, you stated in there. Why is it not debatable? Why can't we? Okay. okay, thank you very much, Reverend S.K. So, um, in, the, in, your, in your question, you started with, uh, we know where the Bible has been, the um, translations and all that. Translations do not affect um, the Bible. The Bible, with autographs, and the manuscripts available, you can go back right now and search out anything, anything that is said. So a translation does not affect the meaning of anything. So you can have a key translation that is limited with vocabulary and may not be able to explain a lot of things. For example, if you say baptism in Christianity, uh, in three, it will be a super. But baptism in Christianity in the Greek baptism is more than water baptism. There is Holy Spirit baptism. There is a lot that the tree version will not be able to cover. But then, that tree limitation or tree translation limitation does not affect the autograph. And so when we say the Bible is inerrant, infallible, we are not talking about translation. We are talking about the original manuscript or autographs that is given, which is, which is available, and if you care to know, the Bible has most concerning ancient doc documents, the Bible has most available thousands of documents than anything. And so you can, even today, you can search, go back, you are going to get all the manuscripts from which you get your King James, from which you get your... Um, living Bible, the Living Bible, you get all that. So, the translations come in to help for simplification and for people to understand what is written, but it doesn't affect anything. And so, the doctrines, they are cast. They are cast, especially essential doctrines, they are cast. It's not debatable. If That's why you can say that some groups are not checked their For example, when you say Jehovah's Witness, 
from outside, people will say that Jehovah Witnesses are also Christians. But then, if you study the scriptures and you come into understanding doctrine, you realize that they deviate in essential doctrine, and that's why they are tagged out, and many other groups like that. So, um, the translation and where the Bible has been to does not affect the Bible. And people who go with the narrative that, oh, the Bible has been changed. Nobody changed the Bible. If you ask those people when, where, who, they can't give you nothing. Because, you see, the Tanakh, which is the Old Testament um, Bible, is being with the Jews until now. And it is the same we have in our Old Testament. So... If you think that the European changed the Bible to deceive the African, anybody who makes that argument, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, how did they influence the Israelites? Because they've had it. And it's not been, it's, it's never been changed. It's never been influenced. It's been there. It's been the same. And the manuscripts are there. And then if you go on, you realize that there have been later, later discoveries of those old manuscripts that were hidden, that were found. And they agree with what has been there ever since. So, Yes, if you want to get anything, just go to it and search it out. You will see that it has been like that from the beginning, as the the canon was given to us. Thank you, Mr. Will. I mean, it still it still doesn't make it true. As to the topic is still heaven and hell, and whether it exists. Um, your personal experience account is your personal experience account, and we can't take it away from you. It's yours. You can't tell people how salt and sugar taste like you. They can't differentiate it. I can't tell you how the, the color red and describe it through the phone to someone who is blind or to anyone. Mr. Mr. Will. Mr. Will. But if you want Mr. us, Will. this is this is Mr. key Will. here. If Mr. you want us to take your personal Mr. experience Will. to be true, it's, it's a disclaimer. Mr. Will. Yeah. Mr. Will, if you be honest, you know I told you it's highly subjective and then that's not the yeah, So why bring it up? Because you thought it would help your case. No, it's not helping my case. I'm trying to let so you know. So why bring it up? So I brought it up because that is something that I know of. And I'm the one making my submission. Right. Granted. Now, it still doesn't but, make... Uh, it, still, it still doesn't make heaven, heaven and hell real. Now, just to... Add, add to the heaven and hell and how those so, things are online. So Mr. Wills, Mr. Wills, Mr. Wills. Yeah, Mr. Have you shown us, have you demonstrated to us how a heaven or hell is Mr. Wills, can I ask you a question? I think, I think, I think just to make this very simple, we've had uh, YouTube apostles speak. I think when I joined in, someone else was on the floor. Will, can you also tell us why you think, maybe you explained already, but I, I joined no longer ago. Can you tell us why you think heaven and hell are not real? Can you also give us some facts to back what you believe? Sure, sure, I can do that. Uh, but you too, Pastor, did, did you have anything quickly? Yes, I was going to ask you, but I think um, Reverend Eskin um, has, has said something close to what I wanted to say, so after that, I'll add up. I'll, 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 I wanted to ask you a question. Okay, but, so first, thank well, you. Yeah. Well, um, I, I I want us all to agree on one thing that this whole discussion about religion, because we, we uh, okay, fire put in the caption, so we want to believe that it's because fire is Christian. So I want us all to be on the same ground where we, we can all understand that this thing about religion is subjective, like it's belief. You get it. So, I, and well, I'm just saying that in response to what he said earlier on about um, YouTube. Um, my name is I'm Pastor Gideon. You don't need to go YouTube. I think that was how uh, I, this thing was. Yeah. 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 So, with, with what Pastor Gideon, he, he, I, I feel it's, it's okay for him to use his personal experience whatsoever to defend his case. Just the same way you can use books or whatever you've read to justify or debunk or whatever because I feel like this thing is very subjective. These are the issues we are talking about. It's not some uh, like uh, mathematical or something where we have to prove that one plus one is two and uh, uh, there, there, there is another part of math that explains that one plus one is one. 
you know, with those who have done higher. But basically, basically, the thing we do, nobody get any physical or scientific exactly. evidence. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Exactly. So I think Your that, personal yes, experience. The goal, the goal of this whole conversation is to hear from, you know, it's a, you believe you know the answer why if you know they believe why i i believe we bury the lines of the submissions people make but it shouldn't be like you know person the attack person or one person has mm-hmm. exactly, exactly exactly i mean let's let's make it healthy yeah. as well exactly so well okay. as as you. yeah so when you when you put things in the realms of subjectivity okay then it begs the question are we having a discussion about what is real or what people think. Because the discussion, of course, religion is subjective, and that's because it's not true. But does God exist, okay? And is there a place of like heaven and hell? This is not an opinionated question. This is not, I make Wache and I ask you, is Ghana Jolov better than Nigerian Jolov? There is no objective answer to that. There could be, okay? But people can have different opinions, and we just take it and leave it. But when people tell you that heaven exists, and certain people would end up there, and certain people would end up in a place called hell, that is no more an opinion piece. That is a statement of fact. So when those people are coming forward and making such bold claims, we do have to question them and put them in their place. And until they provide evidence for that, we will drag them till they finally tell us that they do not know what they are talking about. That is where subjectivity comes in. So you are right with that. So we are not going to stop at that. Now, um, to you asking me to show how I know heaven and hell does not exist, I already went through that with fire. But I'll go through that again. But we need to realize this in logic. And if most of you have ever looked into logic, you would understand that you can't prove a negative. This is because if you want to prove that a woman is not pregnant, you have to do the positive test. You test for the positive. How can you prove I am not speaking right now? You have to listen. To listen if I am what? Speaking. That's the only way you can prove I am not speaking. Is you have to test for speaking. So you can't prove a negative. So the burden still lies on the people making a positive claim, of which they've still not been able to show us whether heaven or hell does exist. But just to follow, it's not an opinion. They are talking about facts when they mention stuff like that. But just to show you how the ideas do not exist, okay? So first off, um, we do realize the idea of eternity. And I already mentioned this before. Eternity implies that it's a very, very long period of time. Forget every, every, every duration of time you know about. We can think of seconds. We can think of what will happen in hours, five years, 10 years, maybe. But what could happen in the next 100 years, 1,000 years? But we are talking of a matter of eternity. Now, if there is a realm called eternity where it's like there is no time limit to anything, then most of our motivations we have here and now would not exist. So the idea of heaven itself begs that question. Another important question I want the people who claim there is a heaven and hell to answer is, what are, what are people going to do in heaven? Like, what the hell are people going to do in heaven? Because the question it points out is, when there's a place called heaven, okay, most of the time it happens to bear attributes that already exist on this earth. Most time heaven proposes virgins in Christian heaven, in the agricultural era, the land of milk and honey, like stuff like that. It happens to have things and pleasures that people desire on earth just that they have to forego these pleasures on earth just to get them in the afterlife. The only species that this can happen to is the human species. You can never tell a monkey that they can, if they do not eat this banana now, when they die, they'll go to monkey heaven and get more bananas. It will never happen. The monkey will eat this banana here and now, and which is what most of us should do with our lives. We should focus on here and now. But Mr. Will, problems we have here and now and Mr. Will, Mr. What Will, what would happen after? Yeah. How do you know Monkeys don't think that because maybe they are speaking monkey language. You don't understand monkey language. Are you a monkey whisperer? You're not. So maybe monkeys, monkey parents are telling monkey babies that quick, 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 heaven. You understand? Or did they tell them quick, 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 hell? You no go no. You know be monkey whisperer. You know be animal whisperer. So that one too, we don't know. Maybe they to they believe say something like that. They we don't know that one. So you know go feel use. You know go feel use that comparison though. You know, if you use that, if you leave the animals alone. The, the argument I was making, the point I made was, you can only promise humans, like the monkey example was in parallel, and you are making another bold claim. So the parallel is that in monkey, monkeys will take advantage of the moment ahead of the future, and you are saying that is false. So how do you know this? What I'm telling you is, you can't even use animals. Leave the animals alone, because may, the maybe they also believe it. Maybe they believe it. You don't know. Language. 
you as a human, how do you know that there is an afterlife instead of the present one? We, we both don't know. Or you know. You don't know. We've been promised in the Bible, though. As yeah, that, and that's a lie. How that do you know it's a lie? lie? Or because yeah, it's not because the, people who claim it's true, the people who claim it's true have just told me right now that they do not know. And the fact that they do not know, and they later claim and purport things like this to be true, is something we should be very worried about. Oh, yeah. I just got um, to see. Um, well, got one. well so, so then let me ask, okay? Um, are you saying, if I'm not wrong, or oh, sorry, correct me if I'm wrong, are you saying until scientific proof is given to back the claims, you don't believe it? And that's you. Is no. that what you're saying? That's not what I've not even mentioned science anywhere. No, I mean, yeah, well. This is the thing with religious people. All you have to do is just show that heaven and hell is this. It's not difficult. How am it's I going to show it? I'm, I'm not. I'm not. How are you going to show it? If the, if the thing existed, it would have been easy. But like here we are. We are waiting. You, 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 you're trying to make, you're trying to make logic sense that, okay, God, God, we, we can come outside and be, oh, God, come out. Come out from the, uh, from the clouds and show these people that you, 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 yes, so you believe. It would never. It's but then the testimony is in Wait, 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 God could never, how, how do you know that? Yeah, God could never because the testimonies that happen in churches when people go every Sunday and they hear that God did this, God did that, God comes out to help people who don't study for their exam pass, but as to God showing up to finally give revelations as to heaven, to stop people from getting raped, to stop slavery from happening, suddenly heaven closes his eyes like that and doesn't see anything, but then God comes down in those instances, but can't come down to a space right now filled with people who want to know whether or not a place like heaven is built. Is that not a shameless Listen, word? If God I just, is I just, I just is going on now. Well, so, well, so this all this will that all this stems from your disbelief in the existence of God, right? No, it doesn't. It just it stems from you not being able to go to heaven. You're not gonna you're not gonna put in your heart and try to believe in it because if it's if, the Bible listen, listen, listen to this. You're not, you're you, not about to you say, are missing yeah, the like, point. No, I believe in God because you now, know you're guy, and if, you I say, a... I, if I say I believe in Santa Claus and somebody here says, no, no, I don't. I don't believe in Santa Claus. I'm like, no, he lives on the North Pole. He brings children, gates, 25th of December. And I'm able to show you some gates children received last year and everything and everything. It's still not going to be proof enough that there is a man called Santa with reindeers who flies on 24th night and gives good children gates. You can't. You, 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 if I tell you to disprove that, let, okay, disprove Santa Claus doesn't exist. You really can't do that. I, I am the one making that stupid claim that Santa does. And no matter what, anybody can say anything. If I don't prove that there is a man called Santa who can fly in the sky, then I, then I am making a false claim. No matter what it is I say, okay, you still haven't proven heaven and hell exist because they don't. And no, you can go on and say all you want to say right now. All you have to prove is so simple. Heaven and hell, where is it? Okay, now let me get into how, how I know it doesn't exist and because you guys cannot show it does. So uh, when well, we think can about... I, can I, well, can I ask you something before or can I just drop something with you? I, but tell us how heaven and hell does exist. No, 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 let me say, no, no. If no. you can't, let me go on as to why it doesn't. No, so well, when we think I, I about think... age differences and how um, people, people live and die, okay, in heaven and hell, are people going to be their best self the self they want to be or the self others do want them to be? Are people going to have memory loss when they die? Because free will is one important thing that functions in this earth, okay? On this earth, we seem to have free choices to be able to choose between items. But when people die, can someone decide to do evil in heaven? If they can't do that, it means the ability to have free will gets taken away from them. If people, hell will probably be the only place where people could could actually have free will if it does exist. In heaven, there would be no free will. So the idea of heaven as a free place existing would not be proof being that also also, also according to most of the, 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 the stories about the, this non-existent place is that there is somebody who broke the rules and was kicked out, okay? And this being mainstream talks to the fact that when people express free will, they get kicked out. It could probably mean a, a lot of things, but let's just let's just leave it there for the people who claim there is a heaven to show how that happened and all of that. 
But the idea of heaven, are people going to be the cells they desire to be or the cells that other people want them to be? So if um, grandma dies at 90, I already used this example. If grandma dies at 90 and you are 10 years old and you live to 90 as well and you have grandchildren and children and all of you go and end up meeting in heaven, what self are you going to be? Nobody would want to be their 90 year old self. I don't know, maybe some of you do, but somebody, people may want to be in their prime. Many people may not prefer to be married to that abusive person they were with while they were alive. Most people would rather prefer to not have maybe um, certain friends they knew before. So are people going to lose memories of their life on earth? And if these memories are what, inf- or these memories and experiences we have is what inform whether or not you get into heaven, then why would why won't we have this this as well in heaven? Now to eight differences. Are you going to see people who um because you only know certain people from certain points in time? Like there are certain people who didn't meet me until I was a particular age. Now if these people died and went off and I grow older and I die and I and these people meet me, are they gonna see me as my older self or younger self? All these logical impossibilities makes the idea of heaven seem even more delusional and some stuff that people have concordantly made up. Now to um, heaven and time itself. Now, time being unlimited, the reason things have value is because of time. The, the reason you speak to me on this space now and not wait to speak to me on this space in two years is because I'll probably not be here listening to you by that time. But in heaven, there is no urgency. There is nothing. Why would you wake up every day? The reason you live your life how you do now and why family is important to you, spending time, um, going out, um, like why you do what you do is because there is time. And a time would come, you wouldn't be able to do some of the things you do, which makes all the things we do valuable, like um, most of the wonderful experiences we have in life. And that's because we realize that we only get to experience this for a short period of time. If we could experience this things for eternity, why do it today? Like, why do, do I have to go on a trip today when I could go on a trip in 10 years or in 200 million trillion years? Like, it makes no sense. Now, to the idea of hell, okay? If there is a place called hell where people are being tormented and they'll be tormented for eternity, non-stop, and all of these things, forget whatever religion it is. Hell just happens to be a place where people who do not belong to their religion go. Like, regardless of whatever religion it is and the, the version of heaven or hell they want to procreate. Hell is where they want people who do not believe in their God and follow their doctrines to go. And heaven is where they want to be with the people of, of like mind, okay? And and granted, okay, however, you do realize that certain people would be in heaven and they would have people they know, family members and the rest, who would be in hell. Now, are they going to just erase these memories and not let these people know that people are in hell? And how would you enjoy heaven, okay? And I, I, know, I know most religious people may be psychopaths, but how would you enjoy heaven? Knowing full well that your best friend, people who you were close to you, people who are, were just loving, decent human beings, the fact that they did not believe in a God, okay, or they believed in a wrong God because they happened to be born at a part of the world, like say India and believe in Buddhism or some other God, through no fault of theirs, okay, but based on this same God who engineered their bed somewhere else, ended up in hellfire. And because of that, these people would be burning. And and you would be in heaven chilling, knowing that this, in the presence of this being you are in, is torturing people for eternity. That is, I don't know what level of, 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 um, like what, what kind of a villain can think of this and still be in heaven and be happy about it. It, it must, it, it's only psychopaths that will be happy, happy about this. And if heaven and hell happen to be real choices that we do have to make, which we don't have to make, oh, we can enjoy life knowing that these are not choices we have to make. But if these happen to be choices we have to make, I, I actually think staying in heaven will be very, very, very torturous, especially for the religious. Because imagine having to wake up every day to sing praises to this idiot who is burning people up in hell for eternity, like for no reason, giving them 70 years of life and punishing them for more for, for longer than that. In his court, there are no appeal. You can't appeal your case, even though they you give you fucking the next man in the ass. You're not gonna believe it. Guys, you're fucking the next man in the ass. You're not gonna believe speak God. God. All of this, 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 all of you and until they can show us, until they can show us. But I beg, hold on, I beg. The conversation has got nothing to do with people. Them up. Um. Uh, oh, okay. That won't be. That won't be Prince. Prince will talk that. <laughs> the my sexual preference. Make her, make her, make her, you know. Mister Wood, he talk. so much. Make her, make her, make her, make her stop on. They believe, see, but yeah, they believe, see. You know when the Bible they talk about heaven and uh, heaven and hell. You no, know, they talk literally. 
Probably yeah. also for me, can say help bang or something like that. Probably if it, if it, no, I did, I did try. You see, I did try. You know, finish what's Mr. Wood the talks. He healthy. Oh no, no, forget Mr. Wood. I, like I won't read. Probably, probably I always my hand more than always. I beg you, forget Mr. Wood. Forget Mr. Wood. Mr. Wood, they be confused. Listen, leave him. Leave him. Leave I did. I was finish around. Like you know, you say the Bible. You know, they talk literally. They talk in parables. Heaven and hell. It be you know they mean say place where it depend or heaven will feel mean anything like peace of mind, some joy in your soul and things will feel mean heaven and hell will feel be like disturbances and things like that. So we know we feel just talk calm usually say the, uh, the devil they go they bend people for hell and then so, you know be Bible Bible like this they 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 will feel be something you will feel believe say they believe what you read say they mean this but you know they mean like that. There are deeper things like when it comes to the Bible. There are things where we feel talk directly say maybe person enter here, but you know they mean say enter here. Remember what I tried to. Okay, okay, we bam. You Mr. So, I did try to talk based on what your money talk. Fire. Yeah man. Yeah man. I won't describe the type of human being Mr. Will is. Fresh, fresh. If you if you do that, you will take us back. I beg you. I don't need to have a big thing. I don't need to have a big thing. I don't need I don't I don't need to I don't I don't I don't I I the reason why you won't get your freedom, but me and the talks if you know me. Oh, I beg, the allow me to speak. You don't need no attack anybody. I beg. So if you go tell me what I for do for here. No personal attacks, bro. bro. Mo, no personal attacks. Mo just focus on the topic, bro. Okay. See, Reverend, you know why I the one describe will. You know why I didn't talk that thing. The reason we say we get almost. Please describe describe heaven and hell rather. <laughs> Time wise, we are listening. Fire, fire, ask me question. We go, if go back to. I didn't describe you because nobody came here to listen to who you are. We want to know whether heaven and hell exist. It does. It okay. does. Right. Get to the point. No, wait. Let me, let me, let, let me, let me, listen. We have almost, almost 400 people there. You see, there are days, there are last days that will happen. And this type of people will come in the midst of people to confuse them. Now, somebody like Mr. Well. There are those people. If you are here and you are listening to what Mr. Will is saying, you are lost and you accept it, you are lost. Now, let me read. Shall if this not be the way to teach the way. Please, Miller, mute yourself. Miller, you, 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 you know from the pastor at all. Oh, you know, you know, you know, French beats. <laughs> French beats. Do you even French beats? French beats. 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 French Right, really, go, go ahead and read your petition. Be, be quick with it. On your side, or it's, no, it's not the case. They're saying they attack self. They're first saying they attack self. They're first saying they attack self. You know what you're talking about? No, it's, it's, not, it's not you. Attack. You, you it's, see, it's, it's, it's not you. Yes. It doesn't matter. What's when you talk about just deal with heaven and hell. I don't care about you. Like I didn't even talk about you. Please just tell us if heaven and hell is this. Just get to the point. Fire. Go feel mute, Milam. You even win this. You even win this. So. To even, no, wait, wait, wait. To now even we don't have so much time to keep calm down with and and us. Make you understand, make you understand. Mela, mute point. yourself. I want Charlie, to Charlie, Charlie, you Charlie, know Charlie, 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 with the bag, with the bag. Mela, 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 I beg you, the time, the time we yeah. speak, we all listen uh, to her. Yeah. I did beg you. Yeah, I, did I believe beg. everybody I be adults from here. I, I did beg you. Yeah, 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 fresh yeah, talk. Yeah. I did beg. Yeah, right. After you oh, talk, yeah. we go pissed off. Fresh, uh, I beg me to make you no vex. Go on, I did beg you. We now feel. Listen. Stop, bro. Oh, Charlie. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Fire. Thanks, thanks for the platform. You see, the last days will come. The last days we day inside. So when we go talk, see what be the last days. If you read Second Timothy chapter three, downwards. This is a message where God take us one of the greatest servants. Listen, he said, remember that there will be difficult times in the last days. People will be selfish, greedy, boastful, contended. Uh, parent on, uh, pa uh, will be what? Uh, there will be parents ungrateful, irreligious. They will be unkind. You see? 
missionaries and slanders, violent and what? Fierces. They will be hate. They, uh, they will, sorry, they will hate the good. They will be what? Trenchous, reckless, swollen, and pride. There will be love, pleasure, rather than God. You see, the Bible describes of this type of human beings. They will come. It will be necessary to say they will come. And necessary to go back. So if you did this place stop where they hear something. Remember saying, he did the Bible inside saying, this type of human beings, they will come in the midst of all right. all right. So, so, so Mr. Beach, Mr. Beach, I got some question for you. You didn't listen. Right. So if, you now you say the judgment day be individual thing. You go happen if you die now, you get your judgment straight. What, what be the what be the last days no? The last day. Last days so, so yeah, individually and now so be I then the last day and no, now no, say no, no, no. there will be a final day. final day where if we are seeing you never no, say. No, 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 no. Then get if they talk about last days, sir. The days doesn't represent like normal days. Is it a God they talk in parable? Don't deceive us. Oh. It's okay. God, the talker, he didn't talk in terms of like I got five days, three days. In terms of parables, the last day, the time is near. Like how you go to church, you give you also pastor will talk to you, the time is near. Change, such a wedding, take yourself, give Christ, so 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 and so. So this type of people will come. There will be people who will be unreligious. Some people serve the day, they don't go accept some things. People will be boastful. Say the papi bah be trying to no more yeah no boast for the honor. People will go they will take pride in their hearts against God. People will do so many things against God. Yeah, dream your home, your pay sika. Yeah, yes, you pay say now can you be cast a chair, we will be by chair. Who are you? Like, you know, the Bible is described of this type of human beings. If you necessarily say they for come, we they happy for here, it is see him. Now, make a no, I think I think you missed the point. Mr. The Bible Mr. the Bible No no that's the misinformation you are. I don't finish, I don't finish. You just told you just said I and Papi Kojo will end up in hellfire. Can we can I at least defend that? Allow me. So you just you just said something. You just said I'm going to bend for eternity. Allow me, allow me. Let me finish. Okay, now, Mr. Wu, you were talking a lot. This is a message from God. Proverbs. Then, then keep what? your mouth shut and let God talk. I'm talking. And let, 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 there, are, there are people who want to speak on this case, and God can talk to me directly. Wait, wait, so keep your mouth shut then. If God can't talk to me, don't talk to him. Well, 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 when you were speaking, nobody did this. Did beg. Did beg. Did hey, then he shouldn't talk to me. Ah. We should talk about the topic. Okay, listen, I'll go to the topic. The topic, I'll go back to you, Beba. Now, Mr. Wu, listen. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom is calling. Wisdom. It calls. Wisdom. It calls. You are a bad dreamer. You grew. You are a new one. You've grown. Oh, that. Oh, me, sir. As you as you spread Dutch, a high sir, you bent on hold. The top. Yo, that that be some flex, though. Man, we feel it. We feel it. We feel it. We feel it. That's why it's the German. So, it's so, it's so. Listen, Proverbs chapter one, verse twenty. Listen. Listen with a caution sign. You know, we say listening with a full stop. Listen with a caution sign. Wisdom is calling out in the streets and the markets, places, calling loudly at the cities, gates, wherever people come together. You see? If you listen, God they talk to you, say if you listen, wisdom is calling you. Foolish people. With a caution sign, how long do you want to be foolish? With a apost- uh, with a with a question mark. Yami Bisa said, "When are when? How long are you going to be stupid like fool? How, how long are you going to stay being foolish? How long will you enjoy pouring scoring and knowledge on on knowledge? You see, with a question caution sign, will you never learn? Listen, when I what I will prepare." You, I will give you good advice and share my knowledge with you. I have been calling you, inviting you to come, but you would not listen. You paid no attention to me. You have ignored all my advice and have not been what willing to tell me correct uh, to tell me correct you. So when you get into trouble, I will laugh. So Santa Fire, they ask me say. Ah, now be arena say sometimes that person that time you they talk about the word of God, they you know like how somebody they ignore now. So if the person is sick with the soft five for not say yes, the time God advised them for Proverbs 20, uh, verse one, verse twenty, uh, uh, verse twenty to twenty two that was the person not listen. 
So even if the person asks for forgiveness, you gonna look. Ah, you know you want God talk to you. God talk to you straight. Or so I say one pray, one pray. It's like and they and they call you say fire, fire, fire. This is the time we need to do your one. The time reach you do your one. So listen, he said God say what? I will mock you. When what? Thirty strikes. You don't understand that word? Mm. Thirty strikes. When it comes to you, like a stone, you see something will come knock you. Be on one mouth so you're healthy. Who wants to? Ah, I did too. I did, Mister. Mister. But hold on, hold on, bro, bro. That that means say, uh, if you human being, you give somebody one year, uh, we need to hear. Yeah. We you vex where you start slapper. Uh. Stop! 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 Anyway, talk, I beg, you make somebody else can talk. Mr. Okay. We'll make somebody can talk. 2546. Mr. Will, 2546 is for you. Ariel, 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 come talk, I beg you. Oh, now I'm in Kazari. Oh, asking. Kazari, hey. asking Kazari to you. All this, I didn't show us whether heaven or hell exists. Mr. Will. Okay, so, oh, okay. so <laughs> first, Charlie, thank you. First, but Charlie, we are aggressive past the power. Yeah, I swear. Man. Yeah. I swear, the, the, the Dutch, the Dutch flags they have had though, the Dutch flags I feel like. You know what? You know what? You know what? Make aggression. You know why they do that? You know, there's some people they this world. I want to say, boy, this is so good. So no matter what, what I'm open trade. So sometimes I look at my trash bag. Hold on. So, so, so open up. So before I give my opinion oh, on this opinion, topic, opinion, 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 yes, opinion. this topic. Yeah. Um, I pick, I pick a few things from what um, you, you say, what um, YouTube uh, uh, apostle also say, and what Will also said. So you see, um, if I, if with Will's opinion, if I treat Will like somebody we excuse my language it be demon or in the other side i'm not being fair i say this because when we were all growing up and i'm not going to quote any big quotations whatsoever when we we're all growing up we all watched the passion of christ we, we we heard bits and bits of the christ story okay when the christ that me it be me my personal savior came on this earth he came as a human being he was born out of a, a normal home in father be carpenter this that 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 before the time he come, then the people then did they worship God already, right? There had been prophets who had come to speak about this is the account of the Bible, mm. okay? The Bible we read. There there were prophets who had come before the Christ was born to preach that the Christ will be born. Somebody go come with you, come take over from them, come change the trend through which they did meet God. Mm. When this person was expected, honestly, they expected some big person for some royal family who come on some horses and sense but they go born out for some manja right mm -hmm. so throughout your man in growth or he just grew out of doubt okay mm -hmm. mind you these people that doubted the christ were not demons there's no account in the bible where they describe the people way doubt the existence sorry doubted that he was actually from god in the, it described them as demons even to the point where the person we even follow one way sell them out self you know describe them as demon okay so this is what i'm trying to say um, the Bible we all they believe in right now, the one, the one me as right. that they believe in right now, and I speak for myself. Right. The one me I they believe in right now, it be somebody in account to give. And I was saying that before YouTube apostle said a translation doesn't change. It no be just translation. The religious context changed it. Uh, uh, translation changed them. Some people also come out some things from inside just to make it suit whoever they read them and all that. So that thing we they read already. Uh, put spirituality aside and the faith we have in what we don't know, what we haven't seen, we believe in what we know see, okay, some of us put that aside, facts for the facts, okay, mm -hmm. those days when the Bible was preaching and saying there was no matter, okay no matter. when he was speaking about the vision God had given him about he building an ark and people getting on then they, they laugh at him, those people were not demons they were not bad they just didn't believe, people deal with them they just they want proof See, say that thing really did before they go believe. Until the thing actually happened, wait, and then do what they see. 
Two, the Christ story that they give, the time the Yawa come, then take them to the mountain top, go, then go arrest them, beat them, take them to the cross top and sense. They, and plenty of them still know they believe. They, they shout at them, say, oh, if you be, if you be the Ajinkwa, make your father for heaven show his time to see. The Bible gives accounts of the things will happen after Jesus Christ died. Means some proof comes. So it always happens, say, something for happen after makes somebody after that believe. That be what the Bible give account of, okay? Now to my point today, whether heaven or earth, the, uh, heaven or, or hell day, me personally, I believe because of the things I've read since I was a child. Uh, me, I know be just Christian. I be Christian where they believe in spirituality. If I know me, I believe in so some same. Uh, uh, I go my hometown. I go my festivals and things. The folks who were here before the Christianity we know now crossed the shores. Uh, sorry, crossed the seas and came to the shores of Africa here believed in a God already. They served the God already, and they had a different account of the afterlife and all that. Uh, they believed so if you live a good life your your soul go go come back you go go a good place and then you'll be sent back to come and live a good life again because you basically they give good impact to the, the world within inside if you know be good too you go different side where you they no go allow you make you come back again like basically you perish that's the word like you like oh i say and then you understand so i know these things are also come see christianity here here the things and talk for the bible inside they're actually quotations that give vivid accounts of heaven revelation 2 uh, revelation 21 verse 1 i start to be corrected it says then i saw uh, a new heaven and then a new earth for the first heaven and the earth has passed had passed away and there was no longer any sea the interpretation i get from this the verse basically from revelation they give apocalyptic imagery of the things we happen those days you understand Say some earth go spoil, another one will come. That can definitely be the new earth can be the heaven, and then the one we will perish could be the one we will call uh, hell. Okay, these be the small small things me I learn. Nobody die for here. Go come come give any accounts, give proof. Say okay, as I go, I see uh, uh, Michael Jackson or one or another for here, and this be proof. Say I see okay, as I go, he sign a uh, record top. Give me we as I did die, I know the whole but as I come back, I the whole nobody give. But it's just mere belief we the walk with. Okay. I don't believe heaven and earth know they exist. There's been vivid accounts from, if you read the, the books of the Mayans, uh, 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 what would be the name? The, the, the is, is Islam. Islam also preaches things similar to that. The fact that there's perish, sorry, you, your soul will perish if you don't live a good life on earth, and then your soul will go into a place of peace if, 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 if you lived a good life. So there's been so many accounts. I mean, Mary Dia, personally, me, so far, I don't get any doubts, say, heaven and earth day. But then my stand be very simple. With all the basic, basic things we are learned, I, I, I don't want to take chances, okay? Because, and, and Will said this, there's, there's eternity or whatever they, they describe. But once you are here, you do the things you can do while you're here. But if I've been told that if I live a good life and I do things right, there's an afterlife and there's a place where I go, go where I go, have peace. Well, I know we just choose that one. At the end of the day, if I decide not to believe, we are die way day. He did. If I believe we are die way, he did. He also did. So me, I just this be just my personal thing. I just choose them. Whether you believe he did or you know they be you your thing. Unless you you go fi bring me some proof for grounds, Italy. The thing you do, somebody go you go you no see anything. Then I go believe. But until then, this be what me I go believe. Also to answer what um doctor uh, sorry apostle said along the line that um based on. People that are near death experiences. I mean, what uh, our brother said, the guy that worked at Kolibu. And um, bro, the thing you said is true. Me, I'll be Christian. I've had visions, I've dreamt, I've seen things before. Okay. But until me, I get to the point where maybe I will get that experience where I will feel understand. Science, they tell me, say, there are certain, like, I don't know the right word to use, neurochemical changes where they happen to the body when they, when, when you become past. Like, if you become expired, Certain things they feel happy make you see certain things. Cause imagine me asking, then tell me things. I read Revelation, read, read Bible quotations, and things with things in my mind is I know. See, at the end of the day, once I am closing my eyes forever, I go either go heaven or earth. If I they can't die, my mind go feel play. If I they sick, and I'm not doubting anybody, no disrespect to anybody. People have had the experiences, the personal experiences, but me asking from the science point of view, I believe say if they can't die, put spirituality aside. Your brain will even show you things you've been believing since. Things you did doubt. People will die. Because if they tell you, say, if you die, you go see your grandmother will die. If you die, your mind inside, your mind will prepare you for that person you claim, say, they go meet. Or 
it be those things, anything will free happen. That's not to say I doubt heaven and earth no day. Based on these reasons, this is why me asking I they believe say heaven and earth day. That be all. Heaven and hell, sorry. Right. Thank you very much. Well, God bless you. God bless you. Uh... Um I mean we God. What you mentioned, I think the past things if you remember. Past things if you remember, I already spoke about Pascal's wager that is better to believe in a God than not to believe. So guys, you can look at Pascal's wager right now. It's what he described as it's better to believe in a God than not to believe. Mr. Will, um, I think we are all here to prove something. And in your submission, I think you went overboard to the extent of saying shameless God. The fact that you do not believe in God doesn't mean you should say anything just like that against him. No, 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 no. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be offended by that. No, 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 no. I, I have to because I am a believer. I believe in God. He's yes, my no, that's, I, I wasn't oh, talking God. about you. No, Mr. Will, I'm not saying you talked about me. Can you let me land, please? No, what you are trying to say is this please, is how people are trying to blasphemy. Mr. No, if, if we were, if we were... If we were in Iraq or Iran, no, I would probably be stoned right now by you. Every I'm not... never everybody no, can. No, you really listen, listen will, to me. Please, will, please, will, please, will, please, will, please. He's accusing me of blasphemy. I beg you, hold on, hold on. So when you come and back, blasphemy is not a I crime, and we shouldn't will. make it a crime. Will, some of us go go away tomorrow. I beg you, I beg you. Make it just talk. If you finish, fire will give you a chance. Then you go speak again. I beg you, I beg you. Respectfully, I beg you. We are all here to share our minds and whatever we think about heaven and um, hell. I think we sh um, the way we address some things should be respectful enough. It shouldn't be in a way that you think, oh, because you do not believe it, then it should be that way. You mentioned a whole lot of stuff in your submission, which it doesn't make sense to me. But it, that, it doesn't mean it gives me the platform to take a mic and then insult whatever you are saying or insult you. You do not believe. Fine. Give a vivid explanation. Give an explanation without insulting or anything. That is how we do it. That is how you, you tackle a conversation. You don't do it and make it be like, say, it is you you think it doesn't exist or since you think god is not real then everybody has to take it like this the way you've been speaking that is how you are throwing it out here everybody should take what you are saying everybody and you said we should prove it to you i was going to say maybe you have to die when you die maybe you know if there is heaven or hell but until that you have to live your life he said, if you live a good life, it leads you to heaven. If, if you live a bad life, it leads you to hell. So whether you believe it or not, whether you believe it or not, he said a whole lot of things. But let me say this. God is also a jealous God. God, he is also a jealous God. If you do not believe in him, that is fine. Nobody's saying believe in him. Yes, you, I don't know how you think you came into existence. Maybe in the scientific way, that is your business. But if you are trying to prove a point, I don't think you should go to the extent of insulting somebody's maker or insulting somebody um, or like a God all of us, almost all of us here believe in because of how you think. That is all I have to share. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes, I would like to add this. Person who will come. Oh, Mila, big talk. Yeah, the short. Mila, no talk. Make a, make a. Yes. Well, uh, the answer is talk. Make the other people talk. Talk. You know, you know, go if he talks. But the person they believe in God. So you telling him this thing, scrap with jam more, make it, make it insult your God. They go, yeah. We already have, maybe most of we they believe in God. No, they mean say if you come, they tell this person say make you know yourself. But for me, you understand at least for respectful. You no know, matter what that one day, if you respect me, I day here human being. 
Yeah, if you respect the things maybe that they believe in. But, you know, yeah, that'd be... That'd but then, was she respectful maybe when she said, like when I die, I'm going to find out whether or not? Was she respectful about that? Listen, listen, let me go. Listen. And I am a real person. Okay. <laughs> But she had the audacity to say that and she doesn't find a problem with that because of her religion. And this is how religion poisons people. This is how religion poisons people. It makes them think that some of them... Wait, what are they trying to say? What? What? Listen, let me talk here. What are they trying to say? I mean, I'm a Christian. I know the... I know the... I believe so we're having an earth day. Right, me I don't know. See, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if you say the tangible things or this or that, but if you say how your soul they feel, we will show say if you if they, if they feel like in heaven or in hell, right? One, one thing I for Abby say, I'm a song, we day your heart inside, it will be about living good life, we lead you to God or anything. The Bible said they talk, say, if one year, one year, one year, one we are with the God, they watch you. It seems if maybe your, your brother is so far. We go say church, they pray, they blah, 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 blah. God will bless you all. He will live good life to go to heaven. No. You know, it, I'm assuming they, they, they depend on all the things we already do for the What you do, how good you be, how you, you tolerate people. Like maybe this person, you know, they believe in God, they understand them, teach them, say, oh, probably this and that. Like, how you go feel being this person is so? As God, they try win souls. You know, go sit. Oh my, what's your story? Then how no more? He go try to win them as souls, right? He go places with the bad people, the bad places. People know they believe unbelievers. We go sit them on inside. You know, judge them. You know, go warn them. You know, go and what's the first guy they talk basa basa for? Ah, Abi Mila. Go do that. He go sit with them. He go do what? He go market and eat. He go sit with them. They can run. Oh, Charlie, I don't know. John. To make it easy to win them, as so it seems that like today to shout the means say you go go heaven. The way the girls have a toxic, live a good life, you go leave it to them, then don't insult man God. Check my Muslim, they will burn you right now, they will kill you if you know they believe. No, no, not be so for they like you know. If you understand people, make them like make them understand you, understand your points, where they come from, make, make them believe you, like believe what you do for everything. No be two good sense addressing it. He will punish you, he will kill you. God no will kill you. God be merciful past. God no will kill anybody. If you, you really if you really open your heart inside, say, oh, you you they you, they, you like yeah, like I don't know how to put it, like you go you like you don't go bang you because you be somehow or anything. You you the sinner self they need more pass, you you they hear they shout about. Oh. COVID. No, 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 no. You don't need yourself. You don't yeah, so, so. Make her go. You know, you know. Yo. Mila, they go. Yeah, you I talk. Oh. Yeah, All you right. Talk. So, um, so, shout out to everybody here. Yeah. Wilson, <laughs> you're causing problems here. Yeah. So, the the first thing I want to tackle is, I think most, 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 uh, the, the problem we have as Christians is we do use one our experiences to mix the preaching, you know, to tell people, say, this thing they or that thing they. So somebody go talk, say, um, I did coma for four months. I see this, I see that. So it make a quiver, a shake, say, maybe having day or something. But is it, those things are so irrelevant. You don't even need to bring them up when the conversation of Bible comes up, all right? Because if somebody did, we like if you tell us when you die, this thing will happen to you. That the best person be Jesus Christ, the person you put the follow. But as Jesus die, we wake up. When you go to the book of Luke chapter twenty four, coming from twenty two going down, as he meets the two guys on their way to Emmaus, when he started a conversation with them, he never told them about what happened when he died. But the first thing he did was. He started talking to them, beginning at Moses. He began to expound unto them the scriptures, the things concerning himself. He never told them, say, bro, as I die, I see this, I see that, angel day, hell, be so a day, he never do that. Jesus, come down yes. here. He knows, yes. he know, oh, Mila, I'm not, bro, can you meet yourself, please? You know, as Jesus come here, you know, can't tell anybody, say, bro, if you come heaven, Heaven, this day here, yeah, that day, bro. We, we know they use those things they preach. It, it be so irrelevant to the extent that the moment you bring it up, it only means that you're telling us things that 
fully exist in your mind, right? So, if, so that most of the time the accounts Christians they use be the Revelation account, and if you if you look at the Revelation account of John. There, there are so many metaphors in there. The guy, the guy literally, everything in there, like, so, a lot of them be metaphors. Like, bare minimum things, they will use literal words. Okay, so, you go visit, you tell you, say, the, the streets say, are like gold. The streets are like gold. Meaning, say, if they take something, will be precious for it top. They try to communicate to you something you see. You know, they talk, say, gold, they heaven. It just they tell you, say, what is seen, it be so magnificent that, like, it be like, it be work on something precious. But the heaven, heaven only means immaterial. Earth, material, heaven, immaterial, right? So, if you look at the Bible carefully, if you're a Christian, you are actually in heaven right now. The Bible says that Jesus Christ was raised up and lifted up high above the heavens. The Bible actually doesn't use heaven. It uses heavens, plural. So, it tells you that you are seated with him far above the heavens, not in the heaven. All right. So if you do your studies very well and it, like you go like doctrinally studies very well, you see say what you the um, you, what you do your head inside you they take now no people for this for the space top. You know they you only be inside your head based on some stories you read in the book of Revelation or something Ezekiel tell you or Isaiah tell you before. All right, so th- those things, they if if you really want to know about these things, it be doctrinal. People, Paul, Paul said, I was caught up into the third heavens, and the language I heard there, I'm not even permitted to speak on it. Paul, as Paul come back, he did talk to the people he preached there. He never tell them anything where they go on for that place he go. You know, tell them what he see. You know, tell them the language that they talk. But people go, people go sleep, or people go have coma. Come back and they, and they go. They explain plenty things. All of those things, you know, you know, be lie. All those things they only exist in their head. Like I said, you, you can look up the Bible right now. Look chapter 24, 22, 24 downwards. Jesus Christ, as he wake up from the dead, he never tell anybody he meet. Say, bro, as I go to hell, I see this and that. Satan day here, fire day here, but Mali day here, my God, you know, bro, nobody. Those things don't do. It, be, it, it just be inside people that my head inside. You know, they. Secondly, um, this guy. I mean, lastly, I don't want to go on and on because this this topic. It be if if you know do doctrinal studies, you go hear people they they, they go to spew movies like so things they see for movie inside and they, they go to tell you things. It, it don't be sound it, like Bible. It be sound doctrine where they go with um, fresh beats. Unless you know talk for your fresh beast go take Bible, describe the kind of person you be. Unless you don't open your mouth talk, your mouth go open Proverbs right now, quote Bible for you. But bro, if if I want to quote Bible for you right now, the best quotation for you, fresh beats be Romans chapter 10, verses 1. It, it, I, you, I can see make up, that read you have a read them, read them. I do my game. I'm gonna read them. I'll quote that for you. Yes, read them, read them, read them. Make up, make up. Relax, bro. Relax. So Bible Romans chapter for, for relax. Romans chapter 10, verse 1. The Bible says that Paul said that, like, I, I bear I bear record for Israel, right? Like, I said, like, I'm going to be mobile because I can see that they have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. You, you can see, you look on the space, right? Anybody that joined the space and had a back and forth with you, you can see that, oh, okay, your man, he gets zeal for God. He's a the quote Bible for a quote for him. But everything they talk is basically not according to knowledge because mm-hmm. the Bible... It's a contextual material from Genesis to Revelation. If you want, if you want material, right? So, if they talk something for Genesis, it will be consistent all the way through to Revelation for it to be doctrinally used for it to for it to for you to be able to use them for people, right? So, if you pick something for Proverbs, where the quote gives somebody, if they pick them out of context. Maybe you know be Wilson that they talk about. Maybe that quotation they talk about. Maybe be Jesus that they talk about, or they, they talk about the whole nation of Israel. But you pick them out of context. They try to take admonish somebody on the space because the person sounded a certain way. You know, so, bro, who you preach to near your tree? Open the Bible, read them. You go see, see okay. the heaven will be your head inside. You okay, know, and then they talk for the Bible inside. Okay, the hell or whatever. You know. Yeah. But you are just quoting. If you make it not quote quotation, I can't quote quotation. Make it all run. Make it all run. Okay, now who done it? 
If you can't, if you can't run, who be so, who be so kind of so now we run it. Okay. I did. If you now, could if you uh, could I did give you uh, Proverbs six sixteen. Take out the inter. Make a. Well, I already Proverbs. You already be behind you. Oh no! It be very deep. I caught something. Else. Relax. Why they? Why you won't push me? I won't push. I will push me. I won't push you small. <laughs> I, mean, I just, I just give you knowledge, bro. If I open your Bible, you. read that. No, no, no. Relax. Leave, leave the problem. Leave the problem. Leave the problem. The whole one knowledge. The Bible forgets everything they did. Are they come? Are they come? Fresh meat. Yo. Uh, oh, yeah. Trey. Trey. Trey, you speak a talk. Eh? You raise your hand, keep. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Okay. Um, so um, I would like to I would like to first talk to Mr. Wills or Mr. William Moore. Yeah. You know what? Just like I would respect your perspective on okay, why why should evil things happen when we have an all supportive God, we have an all knowing God, an all powerful God. Okay, I am willing to listen to your submission and not to insult your intelligence or whatever it is. We can all have, like, just like the lady said, we can all have a uh, very well meaning. Tell me who I instructed over here. Just relax. Just relax. There no, is I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel like, like can't throw or space to, so. I, I, would, I would actually want to know the victim of web I've been stopped, because I've only been making submissions. Yeah. And I've been dealing yes. with ideas that have been espoused on the space. So if there have been any, if there's any person... What? I think there was a point you you quoted and you 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 you're missing that now. Um, what the guy is basically saying is we all have the same way you don't believe in the the, the supreme being. Uh, for 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 so many years, a lot of us have dwelled on his doctrines and teachings. And so, if if out of uh, uh, whatever experience you had, you just say he isn't he a wicked god? For I mean, that's a, a bit harsh. Not you. You don't. Oh, but but if I if if I say Santa Claus doesn't provide gifts to children and Santa Claus is the bad person, it's still oh, I've not attacked any Santa Claus because Santa Claus doesn't exist. And nobody, people who believe in Santa Claus, do not get offended by that. Yeah. They're not yeah. Reverend, Reverend, make okay. that would That's a up. distinction we need to get clear because this is what happens and blasphemy laws allow people not to be able to talk about religion in certain ways. Wait, no, no one is even talking about God. Just what God, what God, what God. It's like, like you, are, you, you are heated up on like You can give it opinions, whatever. But just don't exclude like, any single thing that is being said. That is not what we are going to do here. If it, if that is it, then we are not even. I mean, just make your submission and show up. Some heaven and hell exists. This, this beginner Will, Christian practice uh, me. I don't know. Mr. Will, Mr. Will, and I'm sure Christ takes one more well, answers. Please, out of respect, like some words you use are very very harsh. Like if we all decide to go this tangent, like things. Yeah. Look, we, no, 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 no. Let's let's know, be circumspect here. Like, listen, use, listen you, to yourself. Respect, you know why? Ask respect. yourself why are you getting angry. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I want to ask you something, please. No, the reason you are getting angry is not because of what I'm saying. No, no, no. It's no. because of it's because of what you are thinking. No, no, so no. So no, why no. are you why are you why do you think I'm being Reverend, offensive? Reverend, 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 what reason? <laughs> so what reason do I have to be offensive? People where they hear, I know why you are defensive right now. No, nobody's defending nothing. You are you are refusing to understand something that is very evident. All we're saying is. Right. Your, so it's not your show us where heaven is then. Don't use certain words, bro. It's not right. No. When when you when you, when 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 that lady opened her mouth to say unbelievers oh, no. and people of other faith will burn in eternity, she didn't even. It, it's it Listen. is that that should have been sugar coated. Will, that Will. should have been like. Well, she said she said I was going to say this, but I stopped. She just referenced what she was going to say because maybe she thought it was going to be harsh. She just I mean, if you if you don't know what shade is, let me tell you, I don't have to say you are an idiot. Nobody said that. Nobody. I mean, I said you are an idiot. That's what she did. She was saying, "I'm not going to say you are a stupid person." But then the person has already said it. If some of you don't get some of these things, but I'm not saying she personally. I really don't care. I wanted to know whether heaven or hell is this. So let's just deal with heaven and hell. Like I really, is it? I mean, as a man of God, you can't be going back and forth with people like this. I'm not going to say anything you said respectfully. We've all spoken to you. All I'm asking is is simple. Just be. Just use certain words. 
just just be calm with certain words. Yeah, I, I wanted to ask you about something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, be, be also calm when you are telling people to end up in hell. Can you do that? Yeah, can you tell people to be calm when you are telling them? When you tell children, bro, most children experience nightmares and trauma because when, when Sunday school teachers tell them that you if they do not give that sharpener to their friend or the pencil to their friend, they would bend by loving God. That is not a nice thing to do. So the next time, tell that to the Sunday school well, teachers, okay? Well, well you are with your words. Let's leave out some very important facts. But we're delivering it some words. Yeah, we use some. Emma, I said, what are you doing? Don't be offended. Is what I'm telling you. Ask yourself why you feel you should defend such a viewpoint. Because okay, that's so the key to this discussion. Raven, 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 because it's about what the people are saying, like the points yeah. the people are raising, oh my, for which we have to address. So just deal with okay. what I said. Okay, we'll How is the idea of heaven possible <laughs> if, God, if people God. die at different age points in time? How Robert, certain you know, friends of yours will be in know, hell and you'll be in heaven? Would there be memory loss? Do we have free will in heaven? F doesn't exist. Only you are Wait, wait, wait. I won't be Mr. Will something. Mr. Will. As you say, every time you're doing... I mean, I don't... I, I, I would prefer you rather tell us how heaven no, and hell is... No, I'm asking a question. Answer me. I'm just asking you a question. Every well, time but you why are you asking me a question? question? Peter, no, I want to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. always the, time, the, the time, time then they carry Jesus' goes self way, Peter calls hey, somebody... Hey, 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 more of you go for your space. I'll come there. You report your space. Hello, can I... Can I just continue? No, bro. Stop the dude. Sergio Ramos, John, for it. No need. I'll make you talk in my then. Mr. Will. Mr. Will, like, for example... This is the fucking stunt one of the fucking video. Stand down, stand down. Boop, boop, boop. Stars.